away from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like All the way from the start Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine, and today I have a new video for y'all, and it's how to achieve wider, more exciting hip hop vocals. Gotten a lot of questions on the channel about this. You know, what types of plugins, what types of tips and techniques can I use to make my uh, vocals sound wider? Uh, especially when you're on headphones or you're on a set of stereo speakers, you want them just to have that really big sound that kind of hugs the listener. Uh, so I'm going to talk about how I achieve that and the different tools that I use. But uh, first, let me go ahead and just play back this verse. This is something I recorded a while ago. Sometimes imagination makes things out far worse than they are. Yet without the imagination, how much yeah. can be done? They told me you should stay behind the boards While these words are flowing out of me I put it on record and lose it The time that is Most days music The reason why I live I guess, I guess This is how Kanye feel Cause I write better than most rappers would a deal too But I gotta make a living So I give the beats to you It's a dang shame Sometimes when people can't hang Or can't understand I breathe this, believe this Please let my music be heard And give us all the confidence and blessings from above Let the people understand that we did it out of love only concern make music here in the session you can see that we have a main comp layer and then i have a verse backing comp it's just to add a little bit of thickness to it but we're not doing any kind of uh, stereo spreading at this point other than i have a little bit of the vitamin plug-in on the master and that's just widening some of the highs and the mids uh, but we don't have anything directly on the verse at this point so i'm going to show you our techniques and the first one is uh, it deals with the recording but also in the mix but the recording part of it is that we're going to record two takes of punches and they're going to punch the same words of the verse so they're going to be different performances slightly uh, just based upon the fact that they're different takes but they're going to be very similar and then we're going to wide pan them. So one's going to be on the left side, one's going to be on the right side. So let me solo what I've recorded. And then again, we've hard panned them. So they're going to be really wide. Behind the boards, I put it on record and lose it. The reason why I live, I guess, Kanye feel. Deal two. So it just gives this really cool effect. And then when you play it back with your uh, verse, you're going to get these super wide punches that just grab the listener. They told me you should stay behind the boards while these words are flowing out of me. I put it on record and lose it. The time that is most days music. The reason why I live, I guess, I guess this is how Kanye feel. Cause I write better than most rappers would a deal too. So you can mix those at whatever volume you feel comfortable. Some people like to have them a little bit quieter. I like to have them more loud, more exciting in the mix to just keeps things moving in the verse. So that's the first technique. Moving on to the second technique is going to be using a single uh, punch layer. And again, this is just a comp of what I felt like were the best punches that I recorded out of all the takes. And then we're on one single track. So if I play them back as is right now. They told me you should stay behind the boards while these words are flowing out of me. I put it on record and lose it. The time that is most days music. The reason why I live, I guess. We're just again emphasizing those certain words, but nothing really crazy or exciting in terms of a spread. Uh, but what we're going to do is on our insert for this channel, we're going to put the uh, the Doctor MS plugin, which I've talked about this in my other videos. It's a really useful mid side processing tool by Matthew Lane. Be sure to check it out. Uh, but I've based this off of a preset called Mono to Stereo, and it does exactly what it says. It will take what is a single mono track and we're going to add some stereo width so you can adjust how wide it is with this control here in the focus percentage uh, but once i turn that on it will uh, add kind of a similar not quite as wide as you know hard panning like we did with these different takes but it will add a nice width to our single layer Ain't shame sometimes when people can't hang or can't understand i breathe this believe this please let my music be heard and give us all the confidence and blessings from above let the people understand that we did it out of love only concern make music that reaches really cool it almost kind of sounds like it has a, a chorusing type of effect on there so again a really cool technique and if you can't 
uh, record two takes. Let's say you receive uh, a session to mix and they only gave you one uh, track of punches. That's a very useful way to get that same spread uh, that we got or a similar spread to what we got by using our uh, wide panned punches there. So let's move on. The next technique to get wider hip hop vocals is to use a stereo reverb. And in this case, we're going to use it uh, on a bus. I'm not going to put it directly on the insert. Uh, we're just going to create a bus, which I already have a bus on 11. And then I'm using this uh, reverb classic uh, studio hall. Again, it's a stereo reverb. That's the key. We're adding some width. So then I've got just a little bit of a 20% mix. Let me solo it and I'll let you hear it with and without. Yeah. They told me you should stay behind the boards While these words are flowing out of me I put it on record and lose it The time that is Most days music The reason why I live I guess, I guess This is how Kanye feel Cause I write better than most rappers would a deal too But I gotta make a living So I give the beast to you It's a dang shame Sometimes when people can't hang Or can't understand I breathe this, believe this So it just adds some nice depth And again, that stereo spread with the uh, stereo reverb is really nice and smooth. And one thing to note is that I do EQ this reverb. So we're getting rid of all the lows and a lot of the top end. So we're really just adding the, the, uh, the mid verb and a width there in those mid frequencies. But again, just something that you can use to add depth and space to your hip hop vocal. Next up on the list is using a fast ping pong or stereo delay. So I'm doing the same thing with the reverb. I've created a bus that I have our delay, our echo on, and that's bus 12. And then we're just going to be running a subtle amount there. And the important part of this trick is that we want a fast delay because we're not trying to have uh, an, an echo where you're really noticing what words are even you know, being echoed. This is more just to add a stereo effect. So let me solo the verse. I mean, you should stay behind the boards while these words are flowing out of me. I put it on record and lose it. The time that is most days music. The so you again, you really can't understand what's you know being said in the in the echo itself, but it's just uh, an exciting stereo element to it. So when I play it back with the beat, it's going to be even more subtle, but it definitely adds that width and spatial depth. They told me you should stay behind the boards while these words are flowing out of me. I put it on record and lose it. The time that is most days music. The reason why I live, I guess, I guess this is how Kanye feel. Cause I write better than most rappers would a deal too, but I gotta make a... So the other, again, the important thing to note is that I have it on ping pong, which means that we've got a left and a right channel. Uh, bouncing back and forth so you'll see either that or you'll see stereo some kind of setting on whatever uh, delay you're using but uh, that in tandem with our stereo reverb is going to give you a lot more width and a lot less dry just boring down the center sort of vocal all right y'all so the last tip i have to create wider hip-hop uh, vox is actually using a stock plugin from logic and we're going to, again, use a bus. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new one. Let's go to uh, bus 19. And we're going to open up a plugin in Logic under our imaging. It's just stereo spread. So we're going to put that on there. Now, important thing to note here is that we are only wanting to process everything up from, let's just say, 260 or so. We don't need to try to widen anything lower than that. And you could even go a little higher. Let's just say 300. So we'll put that there. And then I'm going to play this back. I'm going to slowly mix in this spread. And you'll hear very quickly the signal start to widen. Yeah. They told me you should stay behind the boards while these words are flowing out of me. I put it on record and lose it. The time that is most days music The reason why I live, I guess, I guess This is how Kanye feel Cause I write better than most rappers would a deal too But I gotta make a living So I give the beast to you, it's a dang shame So we can adjust a couple of settings here Give the beast to you, it's a dang shame Sometimes when people can't hang or can't understand I breathe this, believe this, please Let my So you mess with that order and you get kind of a different uh, spread to it and a different sort sort of effect. This obviously it doesn't sound the same as say our Dr. MS or even our um, stereo delta plugin. 
from uh, Matthew Lane. It gives it a different effect than that, but this is still a cool sound, uh, especially those of you who are using just stock plugins, but you want to be really careful to use it subtly because when you start putting the bus too far up, it starts to almost sound like you've got some phasing issues going on. So I would be uh, very cautious about how you use this particular tip, but if you keep it subtle in that bus, it gives you a really cool spread. Dang shame, sometimes when people can't hang or can't understand, I breathe this, believe this, please let my music be heard and give us all the confidence and bless. All right, y'all, so that's my top five tips on how to get wider hip hop vocals. Hope you all can use these in your own music and you find them helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and we'll talk to you soon. People understand that we did it out of love. Only concern make music that reaches. Give hope so that you can shake the leeches. Our voices call out for change, no fame. We dusting off the vinyl and it's time to let it rain, man.